Action. All right, guys, welcome to another video on how to fruit a mushroom grow kit block uh, from Gratitude Garden. We are now showing you how to fruit the blues. The blue oyster mushrooms are probably one of the most aggressive mushrooms that we have. They will fruit um, really well, um, especially if you follow these di simple directions. Number one, Tupperware. A big Tupperware like this, you can fit at least two blocks comfortably and fruit them very nicely in here. So I'm gonna show you how to cut up these bags. These are already inoculated, they're ready to go. Uh, you will get mushrooms within seven, you know, five to eight days. You will be getting a lot of mushrooms. You could probably get around two flushes, uh, maybe even three from this block. So um, let's show you how to do it. This is the blue oyster block. You're gonna look, you wanna make sure that you fold one side over like this. So you got a nice folded over side like this. Usually we look for little hard lumps in the blocks. In this one, I don't really feel any, but it doesn't mean that we're not gonna get a lot of mushrooms. So what we do is because we don't know where the mushrooms are gonna come out, we're gonna do something called the H method, which we'll just get a little razor blade of knife and cut a nice solid H in this block like this. Just like that. What that enables us to do, so if the mushrooms come out here or here or here or here or here or anywhere on this block, they will be able to open up. They will be able to open up. If you can see the plastic seed, they'll be able to push the plastic out and open up and come out. So that's what I like us to go with. It's safe, you, you're gonna get mushrooms that way. You can also, for extra credit, throw a little X in the side here and then a little X in the side here. So you've got an X on this side, X on this side, and H on this side. Now, after you've harvested your big first flush, you can flip this block over and do the same thing on the other side. But right now we're on the first flush, we're gonna put this block in like this, and then we're just gonna leave the top open so the CO2 can escape, and we're just gonna mist the inside of these Tupperware with, this, with, with filtered water. You don't wanna necessarily wet the block, when they're pinning, when the start, small little mushrooms start to pin, you can lightly miss the pins. But other than that, I would not soak your block. You do not want your block sitting in water. But you do want it kind of humid in here. And the reason why I like these Tupperware is because they have little grooves in the bottom that will catch the water and keep it moist in there without wetting the block. So that's another reason why I like the Tupperware. Uh, but this is by far the easiest way to do it at home. Cut them up, just mist them once a day or twice a day, depending on if you're close by. Keep it in your house, keep the AC you know, around in the mid to low 70s or mid 70s and uh, it should fruit quite nicely. So good luck, happy growing and please send us your pics.